Greetings, adventurers. If you have been on this channel for a while, or even if you're relatively new, you have probably noticed that I have a lot of wigs. Like, a lot. I really, really love wigs. <laughs> I love that you can just put on a wig and become a new person. So, today's sponsor for today's video contacted me and asked if they could send me some wigs to try on. And I said yes. Of course I did. <laughs> I love wigs, and they sent me some really, really beautiful ones that I am super excited to try on. So, let's give it a go. This first one is a color that, believe it or not, I actually do not have. It has kind of a balia chenille at the top that you can tell. And I really love how this one feels. It's very comfortable. The hair is really soft. This is me doing the shake test. <laughs> Once I get a new wig, I shake my head when I'm wearing it to make sure that it fits and that it stays in place and is still comfortable. So, this one passed the shake test. Now this one, oh my gosh, I love the richness of this color. It is so pretty. It is, again, really soft, really comfortable. And it's also very easy to style. I think I'll be able to get a lot of use out of this one. It is so pretty. This next one also has that really nice, gentle balayage to it at the top so that it looks very natural on. I really like all of the variation of color in this one too. All of the strands are not just one shade. You get some highlights and some low lights as well, so that it looks just really, really natural. Now this next one is a very pretty, soft, light brown, and it is so full and so bouncy. It is super, super pretty. I love the curls on this one, that they're nice, big curls, but still very soft. And again, you can tell there's some really beautiful variation in the coloring as well. You have some blonde strands, some darker strands, and then sort of a honey-colored mid-tone as well. Now, this last one is a warm hug on a crisp autumn night. I love this wig so much. It is also a soft light brown, but this one has a little bit more of a reddish, almost pinkish tone to it, and it is so pretty. I love how it catches the light, and it is, again, super soft, super full feeling, and the part is really natural looking as well. I don't want to take this one off. It is super, super pretty. <laughs> Whew. Okay, just me again. <laughs> So, these wigs are super soft and comfortable, have some really beautiful variation of colors in them that make them just look really natural. So, I am definitely a fan. And if you would like to check them out, they are also super affordable. So, they are all linked below in the description of the video. So, give those a shot, and there are a ton of different colors and a ton of different styles that you can choose from, so you're bound to find one that you love. So, thank you so much to Easy Hair for sponsoring this video, and thank you for watching. so soon, are you? <laughs> well, I don't mind. 
I am more than happy to help create whatever sort of dream you think you need tonight. Take a dream away. Well, were you not satisfied with the last dream that I made you? Oh, a different dream. Oh, good. <laughs> All right. I was going to say I take pride in making the perfect dream for every person, so I would not want to hear that um, you didn't like my dream. That would be quite sad. I would definitely want to fix that. But, but it wasn't a problem with my dream. What dream does it happen to be? A nightmare. I'm sorry to hear that. Never any fun having a nightmare come by. They tend to feed off of our deepest fears, our worst insecurities, our doubts and worries and anxieties. They always seem to know exactly what it is, don't they? I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, I can, um, I can try to help you a bit. I, um, I cannot make you a new dream. Not tonight. See, you've already got the nightmare. And if I added in another dream, it might just make everything quite cloudy. The, the bad could contaminate the good, so we wouldn't want that. But I could try to extract some of this negativity that's hanging from me. Thanks to the nightmare, if that sounds good. Okay. Yes, there is quite a lot here. It's quite interwoven. Into your aura here. Hmm. It must have been a nightmare about something very close to your heart. Hmm. I thought so. I'm so sorry. Especially the nightmares that feel particularly real can be quite a challenge. Well, not to worry, alright? Not to worry. I've got a few different methods here that we can try to get rid of some of that nightmare energy. And then you should be able to sleep peacefully, alright? Okay. First of all, I'd like you to try some of this. This is Dream Ether. I use it as the base for the dreams that I make. But it can also be a quite calming, quite cleansing to me. So why don't you just take a little sip of this. We'll see if that helps loosen up some of that negativity on Yes, it is quite sweet, isn't it? A nice, delicate sweet, though, not overly sweet. There. Did that help you feel a bit more at ease? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, 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 that's perfectly fine. It does look as though some of these little pieces might have gotten a bit looser. But they're not gone, so try something else to get rid of them, okay? Here. Got my wand here. I'm going to have to sift them out of your energy, okay? You see, I want to make sure that what I'm removing is the bad and that I don't touch any of the good. So, that's just going to take a bit of time. But, we should be able to take care of it, no problem, right? Now, this will work best if you are feeling nice and relaxed. Would you like to take a few deep breaths with me? Good, good. Remember to breathe. No matter what bad things happen, sometimes just taking some deep breaths can help them. Alright then, let's take a deep breath in and out. 
good. Once more, breathe in and out. Good, good, good. Continue taking those deep breaths. And as you breathe in, I want you to breathe in the calm and the peace of this place. And then, as you breathe out, I want you to imagine the negative energy and that darkness being pushed out of you, alright? So breathe in. And out. Good. Breathe in. And out. Good, 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 good. Now you keep just breathing nice and relaxed. It doesn't have to be those big deep breaths if you don't want, but just keep your breathing nice and gentle. And I'll start sifting through some of this energy, okay? I shouldn't take anything from you. Sift away the negative. Good, 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 good. Okay, and just sift that away. Pick out that bad and leave the good. There we are. Sometimes people tend to try to get rid of negative energy a bit too quickly. It takes time. And here's the thing, foreign negative energy we want to remove, but sometimes we do have things that are negative. <laughs> None of us are perfect beings, and all of us have different things in our past that feel negative, that might even weigh down on us. Now, it is very important that we never dwell on those things. We don't let them define us, but they are a part of our story. Trying to just get rid of all of the bad inside of us. Well, of course we can always improve ourselves, but when it comes to memories and things like that, they're part of how we got to where we are today. And trying to just remove them often just leaves. The best course of action is to simply acknowledge those chapters in our stories, see them for what they are, and then move on. Easier said than done, I know. All I'm seeing is every choice that you've made, everything that you did, everything that happened to you culminated in this exact moment in this world right here with you and me and if you changed even just one tiny little thing you may not be here right now just a good idea to keep things in perspective stubborn pieces that I can't just flick away. But they will be drawn to here, so I just want you to look right here, okay? Just look right here. Don't look anywhere else. Don't worry about anything else. Just focus right here, okay? Just focus right there. Just focus. Focus. Focus right Good. 
dia. I'm going to move it around in your vision, perhaps a bit quickly, just fool with the best that you can, alright? It's alright if you lose it for a moment, just do the best that you can, alright? Just focus on this, don't worry about anything else, okay? Just focus, just focus right here, okay? Just focus. Don't start focusing on the edge of the wand. Good. You're doing an excellent job, by the way. Very, very good job. Good, 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 good. All right, now we're going to come in very specifically. Right there. And draw that out. Mm. There. It can be quite sticky sometimes. It can be quite difficult to get rid of sometimes. Do you know where nightmares come from? That's okay. Most people don't, unless you're a resident of the dreaming. You see, dream makers, we are the ones that make dreams for people, but nightmares come from the fear maker. It's just one person. He is responsible for all the nightmares throughout the world. They can be created a bit more quickly than dreams. Because lots of people are scared by the same things. And he doesn't have to worry about a balance of different elements. You know, the right amount of peaceful plus the right amount of excitement, things like that. He just lays on the fear. That's quite an ugly business. You know, he actually, he used to be a dream maker too long ago. He was one of the best. People from the waking world came to him all the time. He was so busy, he had to turn people away every night. And he was an absolute artist. Sometimes, this can be a bit of a thankless job, I suppose. See, most people in the waking world don't remember us. In fact, very, very, very rarely does that happen. So he would create these beautiful dreams and then really not get any sort of recognition for it. Except here, the dreaming, but that wasn't enough for him. So he asked the ruler of this land, Dream. He asked if he could visit the waking world so that he could get a better idea of what sort of dreams to make, is what he said. Personally, I think he just wanted to have some more recognition. But he went to the waking. And he saw the bad, I suppose. He saw the fear, the anger, the hate, all of the dark sides of the world. And some people say that he lost his mind. I'm not sure if that last part is entirely true. One way or another, 
I changed him. And he decided that the mortals of the waking world, they don't deserve his art anymore. They deserve to live in fear. The bad things that people have done, he wanted them to dwell on. And so he started tainting the dreams that he made. It started out just a little bit. Just a little bit of fear. Just a little bit of worry. But he liked the way that that made him feel. And so he slowly added in more and more. Until he made. I think in his mind it's payback, retribution for a broken world. But you see what he forgets is that the waking world is not all bad. Yes, there are bad things that happen. Sometimes there are very bad things that happen. But there are also very, very, very good things too. Yes, there is heat. But there is also love. Yes, there is fear. But there is also peace. There is also joy. There is also happiness. There is also serenity and wonder. And all of those other things that we put into dreams. They came from But he lost hope. Quite a sad story. Alright, let's see. It's definitely looking better now, that's for sure. Alright, now I'm going to take something else. We're just going to very, very, very gently brush away at the rest of this, okay? Just all of these other little pieces around. They're not quite stuck to you anymore, but they're just trying to flit back into your energy. So I'm going to take this. This is the down feather from a baby dream bird. Yes, yes, this is from a baby. They are quite magnificent beasts, to say the least. They soar through the sky here in the dreaming, bringing with them hope and the joy and the freedom of flight. Their wings are translucent, and in the sunlight they sparkle between pink and purple and blue, sometimes green. It's a magnificent sight. You cannot see a dream bird flying and not be happy. At least if you live here. So I'm going to take this little feather from a baby dream bird. I'm going to use some of its inherent magic of peace and freedom. And I'm going to brush away and get rid of that negative energy, alright? Okay. Okay, and just hold still. You don't have to do anything. Just relax. I'll do all the work. There we go. Yeah. Just a bit more. Just want to make sure that 
with this negative energy from your nightmare and that it never comes back just like the fear maker well, unfortunately he might come back sometime but there's only one of him there's so much good in this place just like there's so much good in the waking those of us who understand that will always rise up against the fear maker. Don't you worry. No matter how powerful and impactful those nightmares might seem, fear is not stronger than hope. It's not stronger than love. It's not stronger than knowledge. And in the end, good will prevail. No matter what. I'm sorry that my brother did that to you. But I promise, I'll take care of it all, okay? There. It's looking quite nice now. How do you feel? Good. I'm glad to hear it. Well, as I said, I cannot give you another dream. Not for tonight. Just in case. But hopefully that negativity being gone will help you just be able to cross over. Just let the tension melt away. Over. And your forehead and your brow. Just feel all of those muscles relaxing. Good. And all of the little muscles around your eyes. Let all of the tension melt away. Now down to your mouth and your jaw. Let all of that tension just float away. Like leaves in autumn as they leave their trees. Good, good. Now down to your neck. We can carry quite a lot of tension in our neck our shoulders here, but just let yourself relax, feel the tension rolling away like a stone down a grassy hill. Good, good. Take one more good deep breath for me. Breathe in. Now, I'm guessing if you close those eyes, you'll find yourself in the land of the sleeping once again. Good. I wish you the best, deepest, most peaceful, uninterrupted sleep imaginable.